What was that? Here comes the bride. Good job. Okay, I got another one for you, okay? Come on, no one knows? Me says hey, Daylight come and me wanna go home. Come, Mr. Sally Man, Sally me a mushroom. Hi, I'm Faraday. I'm the culinary director at Munchies, and today we're making a spinach and mushroom lasagna from our new cookbook, Munchies Guide to Dinner. What we're gonna do to get started is we're gonna make our filling for this lasagna. So we've got a bunch of cremini mushrooms. These are kind of like baby portobellas a little bit. It really doesn't matter what kind of mushrooms. If you wanna do a mixture of all kinds of mushrooms, do that. We're using just standard little yellow onions in here. If you want to use red onions, you can. Like it's not going to make that big of a difference. The idea is that we're using this book to empower you to take this as a jumping off point to make your own recipes if you're more of an advanced cook. If you're still a novice, follow these recipes, but then get really comfortable with these recipes that you can use them to kind of jump off and make them into something of your own. Slice up our onions. We're also going to dice up our garlic. So about three cloves, I'll throw it right into this little guy. Look at that. Your garlic is chopped up for you. We're just gonna saute and soften up our onions. Then we're gonna add our garlic. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt into this. I don't think that there's anything better in the world than the smell of onions and garlic cooking. It's just gonna sweat and it's gonna soften. So you're gonna see it's gonna get nice and translucent, and that's what we're looking for. Recently, like, I was coming home for a weekend down to Maryland, where I'm from. My mom makes a good lasagna. And she was just like, oh, what do you want me to make you for dinner? What do you want? And I was like, I want your lasagna. And I got home and she's like, well, I got you lasagna. And she literally bought Trader Joe's frozen lasagna. I was so pissed, I was so pissed. But anyways, my mom was like, that's so complicated. Of course you wanted a lasagna. Now, this is the opposite of that. This is a very simple recipe. If you're making this filling, then you're just layering it. So it couldn't be simpler. It really couldn't. We're going to add in all these mushrooms. I think it's like three pounds of mushrooms. This is also a good way to lift weights. If you're trying to exercise and stuff, you just go like this. And you switch arms. Left arm. Just go like that. Okay. It's about three pounds. Okay. Right on in here. A key tip while you're making anything is to season as you go. So make sure you're seasoning your mushrooms. So another tip for you is to keep a drawer where you're working and keep chocolate in there. Then you just eat chocolate while you cook. I'm gonna drain this into here. Just like that. Oof. It's heavy. But I'm so strong because I've been doing my lifts mushroom less. Okay, we're gonna add some more oil back into here. We're gonna add the rest of the mushrooms in. Into our filling, we're gonna do about three cups of ricotta cheese, six cups of mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna use about half of it, so about three cups. This we're gonna use to help assemble our lasagna. What we have here is about 30 ounces, which is three packages of frozen spinach. I think that growing up, my mom was making lasagna. I used to love sitting there while she made it because she'd have her marinara sauce going. And my mom would add like garlic powder and onion powder into this mixture and I would just sit there with a spoon and like dip my spoon into this and then into the red sauce and then put some like beef on top of that, some cooked beef and just eat that. So it was like a gluten-free lasagna, which was really good. These mushrooms are done. Add her on in. We're gonna let these cool down a little bit and then we're gonna add it back into here. But first I'm gonna make my bechamel sauce. So a bechamel sauce is like one of those mother sauces. When I say mother sauce, I mean like there's these like five sauces that are like the essential sauces that you should know as a cook. We're gonna make a very simple bechamel sauce. So usually it's about equal portions of fat to flour. So the fat I'm using is butter. Um, this is unsalted butter. All purpose flour, right on in there. I don't want it to get any color. You can see it's this light color right now. I'm kind of cooking out the taste of the flour is what's happening right now without burning it and having it change color. We're gonna slowly add in our milk. If you don't whisk it, you'll get lumps. You get a lot of lumps in there, which isn't great. So this is gonna cook just for, you know, maybe 
five to ten minutes until it's a little bit thicker. A little bit of salt and some black pepper. And set it aside to cool slightly before I add it back to my mixture with the mushrooms and all the good things, okay? So I can't stress enough how easy this pasta recipe is. You can do this by hand, it's totally fine. Two cups of semolina flour, two thirds cup of water in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more water in there, just like a tablespoon at a time. Like one tablespoon of water to that. So it's like holding together, it's pliable. Look at that, vegan pasta dough. Who knew? So easy. into there. We're gonna add our bechamel crown in. Mix her all together. Our pasta. It's been refrigerated for about two hours. Um, I've got some extra semolina here just for dusting. All right, I'm gonna divide this into four pieces. Just to make it easier to work with. I'm gonna lightly flour my surface here. And Lena, and I'm gonna roll this out into like a little, just a thinner piece. This will make it easier to feed through the machine. And I have a electric pasta maker. If you don't have one, you have a hand crank one, that's fine. You probably do need a pasta maker to do this, or you can just use store-bought pasta in general. So a little bit of semolina on here. Just gonna feed it through. And again, I'm gonna put it through one more time. You can see every time I put it through, it's gonna get longer and a little bit stretched out more. Second thin is setting. Okay, we want it to fit into a nine by 13 inch pan. So I'm gonna trim it into 13 inch lengths. One piece right there. Olive oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick. Three lasagnas on the bottom. And then we're gonna do about two cups worth of filling per layer. Two right there, right up to the edges, okay? About a half a cup of cheese per layer, okay? So you can use the cheese to kind of fill in those little holes and stuff. Then we're gonna do another layer of pasta. And that's it, like this is, like I said, this couldn't be an easier recipe. Right up to the edges. And don't forget the old Parmesan. Okay, more Parmesan on the top, all over. There we go. Boom. So cover it with foil, put it into a 375 degree oven for 40 minutes. And we're gonna take that foil off. We're gonna jack the heat up to broil or whatever and just let it brown on the top and it's good to go. All right. Looks pretty good. The first piece is always the ugliest piece, like a piece of pie, you know? Came out really well, it's all held together. Let's try it out. Mmm. The spinach and the mushrooms makes it taste really healthy. Wow, it's like creamy, nice and crispy and cheesy on the top. So good. You can get that recipe here in our cookbook, Munchie's Guide to Dinner. Also, this recipe will be available on our website. Make it, cook it online, hashtag cook munchies. Thank you so much, we love you.